Thank you very much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about how to process payments in Acumatica. So let's go ahead and take a look at our agenda. So I'm actually going to show you processing payments two different ways, one for a single bill and then one way for multiple bills or a more automated process. So we're going to start by entering and releasing an accounts payable bill and process and release the payment. And then our second phase is going to be how we can select multiple bills for release, approve bills for payments, process multiple payments, and then release those payments. So let's go ahead and get started on entering and releasing an accounts payable bill. So here I am in Acumatica. I'm in finance, accounts payable, bills and adjustments, and I'm going to enter a bill. So as you can see, our reference number here is new because we haven't created it yet. We'll go ahead and put in a vendor reference number. So this would typically be the vendor's invoice number. And we can put a comment and I'm just gonna say this is for repair of truck number 212. And we'll select our vendor. And I'm going to select Anders Auto Repair as our vendor. And you can see our terms and those kinds of things. So we're going to add a line to this bill. And we don't need an inventory ID. But our transaction description, we can type what we want here. And I'm just going to say, again, repair of truck number 212. But you can type more there. Our extended costs, I'll make it $1,200. And I have the vendor set up to automatically pull in my general ledger account number and my sub account. So that's really all I need on this bill. So it's a very simple bill, it's a $1,200 bill. But I also have my Acumatica accounts payable module set up to automatically put things on hold as I do the entry. So before I can release this bill, I need to take it off hold. So I'll take it off hold. And then I can push the release button and it will release this bill. So it's gone ahead and, and posted that. Now that it's released, I can go to actions and I can say pay bill. So we'll go ahead and go to the pay bill part. And as you can see, we're going to process this bill with a check. Now, the reason it says check is this particular vendor's payment type has been set up as check. And as you can see, it's pulling this bill in. So we have a $1,200 check. So once again, I'm gonna save my action is print check. So now here's my check printing screen and we'll go ahead and process this. And again, we're just processing this one payment. We'll say process and there's my check. So we'll go ahead and close that. And it's already been processed. So now it's been released and we're done. So very quick and simple. We've entered a bill, we released it. We then processed a payment, printed the check and released the payment. So all quick and easy. Back on our agenda, very simple. We entered, released the bill, processed and released the payment. But I also understand that a lot of people will want to do multiple bills and process those. So we're gonna go through that process as well. Let's go back into Acumatica. Now I'm going to go to the processing tab and you can see that it could kind of walk you through this. So the first thing we're going to do is release AP documents. So what shows up here are any bills that have not previously been released. You don't have to release them as you enter them. You can release them in a group. So let's just select a couple here. So I'll select two. And you can see they happen to be for the same vendor, but I'll go ahead and release those. Now those have been released. We'll go ahead and approve bills for payment. So I'll choose that menu option. And you can see that we have a list of bills that have been released and we can now select those for payment. So once again, just for funds and grins here, I'll select a couple. <laughs> so we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now we'll go ahead and go to prepare payments. And we can now select which bills we wish to pay. 
So once again, I'll just select a couple of here and then process. And that will take us to the print check screen where it brings up the two bills that I've selected for payment. And we'll process that. And once again, we have our check. So here's check number one of two. We scroll down, we'll see our second check. And so now that's all been done. So we went through two different processes. We entered a bill, released it, processed the payment, released the payment, all through steps for that one bill. Our second scenario is we did multiple bills. So rather than entering the multiple bills, we just selected multiple bills for release, bills that had not previously been released. We approved some of those bills for payment. Then we process the payment and then we release the payments. Thank you very much for joining us today. You can find us on our YouTube channel. We're also on LinkedIn. You can also call Henry Kim or send Henry an email at hkim at nimsassociates.com. And you can also press the subscribe button to get notifications about these short tips. Thank you very much.